on Restoration. trouble trying to find the uh, adjustable plate that sits in the front of the heater channel there the bolt passes through the chassis and into that plate itself it's not that it's not in alignment it's just that the uh, plates moved somewhat so I'm just using the bug me video style method of jacking the body up from the uh, chassis and um, just two by fours either side of the tunnel with a piece of timber up underneath the dash there hopefully it will just be a case of a uh, me dislodging it yeah it's just a little stuck in there probably a bit of paint or something but I think I'm gonna screw these rods through just as a locating pin and then uh, get the body on there perfect not that I'm securing it down as yet but I'll be able to locate it later on down the line I've just gone and created myself some more work to do so back in the late 90s something like that I uh, replaced all the trim with the uh, thicker stuff, the earlier style trim, and that involved drilling all the holes out along the body line, bonnet, uh, for a bigger diameter. So I've now ordered the uh, thinner trim, the correct trim, and yep, that's going to involve me welding all the holes up and re-drilling them to the correct size to fit. I do still think that the thicker trim looks so much better but uh, it's just not correct. Well that escalated quite quickly, I didn't even have a chance to get the camera switched on so I'm now in the process of getting the gearbox out so I can treat and uh, do what I need to do up underneath there. It's just taken me about half an hour to get the uh, split pins out of the axle nuts there. Uh, I've got the starter motor removed and um, I've managed to lubricate any nut and bolt that's going to come out and in the meantime I've just had a delivery I think that's the trim I'm having right trouble getting these drums off so I'm going to have to make a puller all the angle irons being cut now so I've got these four small tabs that are secured by the uh, wheel bolt there and then with the idea of these two longer lengths almost forming a triangular pattern with the cross member going across the middle I did try and use an old homemade puller this got us out of a tight spot when we was um, picking up the beach buggy for me dad and this had to be made on the spot but that was a four bolt pattern on the drum and uh, can't use it on this application so let's try and hold these in place and uh, get it welded Well, I don't think that they have ever been off. They are in a mess, look at that. I've had to cut through the brake lines on the rear of that cylinder. They just wasn't budging whatsoever, so I had to saw through those. The uh, wheel cylinder itself, because I couldn't actually back the shoes off, that snapped, so that's gonna need a replacement. And the other side came off really easy, didn't even have to use the puller on that. But this side is as equally as bad, although I could um, back off the brake shoes on that.
got all the holes now welded up ground down and a little bit of primer just to stop it flash rusting and uh, it just fell out all right let's get this degreased eh degreased and then metal etched and then pour 15 just like everything else Look how brittle this is, look. Ooh. Oh, crusty. So you'll have to trust me on this one. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but just painted up underneath the complete chassis now with uh, Pour 15. So all been treated, job done. Just gonna do a little bit to these wings, weld up those indicator holes. Going right off on the tangent here and um, started doing the wiring for my engine bench starter. And I've had all the gear for a long time but I've just got around to actually uh, sorting it all out and um, at least getting it started. So you can hear the relay clicking in. So it's all good this end, just got to get all the uh, other wiring sorted for the engine side of things. This is what I started making years ago, so it's just an old gearbox bell housing and uh, gonna have the switch situated in the front there. And I've got a little old lawnmower tank that um, should hold enough fuel just to do a little test of the engines. Just put that in a position where you can see it better in the light. Now this was a cheaper version on the internet. There's a lot more different varieties of this switch that have a lot more toggles on them. But I basically just needed that one kill switch, obviously just to end the test as and when I need it. So the wiring was pretty simple, although it didn't come with any instructions. Sort of figured it out myself in the end. Just got the uh, little LED hooked up. It's got a live feed in through the relay which uh, will go to the starter. Now I'm going to get on and put that inside the uh, little bench tester and I've got a natural hole there obviously for the uh, wiring to pass through. So it's all good, see what I can do. Just going to make the start on getting all this wiring out but first I'm going to make a diagram and take as many photos as I can. I've already noticed that the courtesy light inside and also the uh, door switches to power that courtesy light are uh, not operational. There we go, all done, everything taken out and that gives me a chance to tidy up the rear of that radio slot that I welded in. Looks a bit better with a coat of black doesn't it? Thought I'd better actually explain why I've welded those indicator holes up. So I actually use uh, US spec headlights that have got the indicator bulb situated within the uh, housing itself. So I've just never had the opportunity to weld these holes up on the wings. Uh, I've also got Porsche 911 lenses to go back in. I've still got the original light stashed away though. So that's what I use. Um, this wing's actually seen a lot of repair from someone and it's still in quite a bad way up underneath so I may have to address that later on. Well, that's definitely a need of replacement anyway that is, that is totally shot. 
it was like that all the way around it and uh, no rust by the looks of it both side windows out looks good I doubt you'll be able to see it's a little too dark in there but I've just replaced the rubber grommet that both the accelerator cable and the clutch cable pass through I mean that's the remnants of the old one that's at it all right, time to get this bad boy back in, I believe. Let's get the jack. So it's been a long day, but pretty productive. I've been able to uh, get things done in between waiting for things to cure. So I'm gonna get this gearbox in, make it better than it was. I'll see you on the next one.